Hey guys, here I am back again. It's my idea of, instead of using a PWM and all that stuff, which is extremely complicated, this is probably the simplest method that I can think of to, to produce uh, pulsating or a high energy pulsating uh, DC from straight DC. What it is, it's just a simple flip-flop, transistor flip-flop. It's a DC to D DC to AC converter. The transformer, in this particular case, and the one that I'm going to be using, come out of a uh, old microwave oven. And what I've done is I've uh, reversed it, and I'm using the secondary as the input to the transformer. I removed the secondary, and I put about 12 turns of number 22 uh, gauge wire. I put 12 turns, and then center tapped it, and then 12 more turns. So I got 24 turns with a center tap on my transformer. The primary is the original primary that uh, was on the transformer to start with. The diodes are two in or one in uh, 007s. Um, silicon rectifiers, um, R1 and R2, or five watt wire wound uh, resistors, or R3 and R4, which makes up R3 and R4, and C2 and C1 make up the uh, timing circuit for the flip flop. Uh, these are one watt transistors, and the uh, capacitor, these condensers here. Uh, have to be uh, mylar. I mean, uh, use mylar or tantalum. Use a mylar condenser or a tantalum condenser. In this case, it's uh, 47 microfarad is what I'm using. Tantalum uh, uh, capacitors. If you use an electrolytic, they're going to burn up and they're going to explode. Don't use electrolytics for the uh, timing capacitor. The transistors are uh, uh, two in 3055s. They're very inexpensive. They're about a buck and a half a piece, two bucks. They're good for about 15 amps. And this little circuit that I'm showing you here is good for about 300 watts. So uh, don't get across it, or I guarantee it's going to knock your knickers off. Uh, it will definitely put a hurting on you. So. This is my answer to the PWM. Now, what I've done with the RC uh, timing circuit here, instead of using a fixed resistor, I've used a, a variable resistor. And you can switch in uh, other capacitors in here to make the frequency go higher. Of course, if the frequency gets too high, then the core of the transformer is going to saturate and uh, all it's going to do is just burn up the, uh, it's just going to end up burning up the uh, transistors. Once you've saturated the core, it, it, it won't take any more uh, energy coming through it. Now, if you want a higher voltage output, go find a uh, two, 240 volt uh, transformer. And just remember running it backwards, a 240 volt. Now, when you rewind the uh, secondary, like I said, that's 20, uh, that's 24 turns of number 22 is what I'm using. But you can use the, the heavier wire for a heavier amount of current. Like I said, this one's only good for about 300 watts. Um, you can use a much heavier wire. It's, this is only 24 turns with a center tap. Extremely simple. Get away from all of that uh, complicated digital do do and uh, let's go back to doing something simple like uh, transistors geez those things were around for a long time and they worked extremely well and, and uh, you probably even use FETs for this if you wanted to if you wanted to use a power FET you could probably use a power FET it's a very extremely simple circuit it's just a flip flop and like I said 24 turns with a center tap on an old um, microwave oven transformer. You pull off the secondary and you rewind it with 24 turns and a center tap at 12 turns. So that's my idea on how to get 
higher voltage, a lot less complicated uh, than using this PWM stuff, which is cool, but I think this is uh, more, this is very good for our use. Okay, just my idea. There it is. Extremely simple. I'm going to publish on the, uh, I'll give you the uh, values of the components on the sidebar there. So, there you go, guys. I don't know what this is going to do, but we're going to give it a shot. This is a very simple way to go at uh, getting high voltage and a substantial amount of power to yourself. Thanks. See you. Bye.